As of today, your accounts have all been updated with the NoteFlight content libraries. Here's what that looks like. Just click on the content libraries up above and select one. So I'm going to choose the uh, pop library and I'm going to scroll on over to find a song. How about we do a Beatles song today? I'll just click on it and there it is. It's a lead sheet with a piano part. So I'm going to have to check out a copy of this. I'll go over to the right and I'll click on check out copy. So it appears now in my NoteFlight library and I have all the editing tools as you can see up top. I'll hit play. And I can play right along. But let's say, for example, I don't play, I'm not a singer. Let's say I want to play uh, trumpet. I'll click on the voice part and the edit button over here. And I can choose a different instrument. So I'm going to scroll down to brass and choose trumpet. There we go. Click OK. And now the lead part is going to be a trumpet part. By default, our score is displayed in concert pitch, but I can change that. Over on the left, I'll go and to score and choose show in concert pitch. That will toggle it to show the transposed trumpet part, but it's showing in the uncomfortable key of F sharp. So let's transpose that. We'll go to um, pitch and we will select transpose and let's move this up by a second so that the trumpet is in G and concert pitch is F. So I'll select up and minor second and go OK. And there we have it, a very playable arrangement. Let's say I don't want to look at the whole score and I just want to see my part. Go up to parts and choose show under trumpet. Now it's just the trumpet part, but you'll hear all the parts when you hit play. You can control that too. Let's turn off the trumpet part by using the mixer dialog box and see what that sounds like. So let's say I wanted to practice along with this recording and I was having trouble with one little section and I wanted to loop it a couple of times so I could play it a few times. Click in the score, select the area up top, hold shift, and then select the end measure and hit loop. It'll play over and over again until you hit stop. If it was too fast, go to sound, choose speed, and reduce the slider down to a speed you can handle. Have fun with these content libraries. You just might find a new favorite song.